Welcome back. It's no secret Zoo Knoxville involved in helping efforts to save endangered animal species. Since 2017, the zoo has been participating in the Malayan Tiger Species Survival Plan. And joining us right now, Tina Rowland, Director of Communications, to tell us more about this program. And first of all, Tina, thanks a lot for coming by. Thanks and for everything inviting that us. you guys do at Zoo Knoxville. Thank you. Um, First of all, tell us about the tigers themselves. I mean, this is a, 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 an amazing species when you, when you see them. They're incredibly beautiful, yeah. but they're also incredibly rare. Um, Malayan tigers are some of the most endangered animals on the planet. Um, there are fewer than 300 left on the planet, if, that, oh, if you wow. can really put that in perspective. And, and we hope that we can be part of the successful future for them by having a breeding program. Okay, so there, that leads us to the next question yes. then. Cubs, I mean, are we, are we looking down? What are we talking about here? Could well, we see some in the near future? That's or? the plan. Okay. So, uh, so, so when we open opened our um, Asian Trek, mm -hmm. uh, new, sure. the new habitat in 2017. That was that was all part of the plan is that we could contribute to this population in human care. So we work as part of a collaborative with a network of other accredited zoos. So Batari and Tahan uh, both came to the zoo uh, in, the, in the last year or so, and we have just recently in June successfully introduced them. And that's extremely positive, a step in the right direction because tigers are solitary and they only come together when it's time to breed. And we've had successful introduction and now we are happy to report we've seen success breeding behavior Great. so um, so now we're going to be on a, a pregnancy watch with Batari fantastic and, and, and just kudos to what Zoo Knoxville does because you, you guys just not with the tigers we've seen other species as well you guys are so active in trying to help some of these species that are there are endangered uh, to try to you know get a foothold and start mm -hmm. repopulating you've mm -hmm. been very active in a lot of different it, it just says a lot about what we do here in Knoxville well I'm, I'm glad you say that because we couldn't do it without the support of our community mm -hmm. we're 90% self-funded so if, by people uh, coming to visit us they're they're actively supporting the work we're doing to protect these animals both locally uh, we have a, a leg program with bog turtles uh, here in East Tennessee where we're re releasing bog turtles right. back into the into the wild uh, red wolves we have a strong breeding program for them so uh, I hope there is a lot of community pride because that you guys are the ones that make it happen yeah yeah amazing job uh and also, this is it's huge, going back to the tigers. I mean, yeah. as far as, you, you mentioned, what, 300, you said, something like that, I in mean, the it world? can be even so fewer than that. It's hard to that. count them in the wild. Are there you know? a lot of zoos that are involved in this? Is there, this a very few of you? Or there are a handful the, of okay. zoos. There are a handful of zoos. Um, uh, we all work together on, sure. as a plan. And that's so, what I was going to ask, if you guys are kind of in conjunction absolutely. with one another. Okay. Absolutely. We have what we call SAFE programs, Saving Animals from Extinction programs. Yeah. So we work, and, and we're constantly talking to not only other zoos, but people working in the field. So, so while we're experts on the care and husbandry of these animals, Animals, we can support that work in the field um, because we get to observe them where a tiger is a very secretive animal. You can see uh, that's a little sneak peek into yeah. some of our dens and oh, some wow. of the some of the entrance. That's when they first met. Um, so you can see they're rubbing their cheeks together. That's a very good sign that yes. they're getting along. Um, uh, and they're uh, what will happen after they've uh, actually had a, had a chance to meet, uh, had some breeding behavior. She swats him and tells him it's time to leave. So that's what oh. you're seeing right there. She's she's uh, telling him it's time to time to get out of my space. Uh, so. Anyway, Anyway, that, that's very exciting. If we do have successful breeding gestation on that, uh, that pregnancy would be 104 days. Oh, wow. Okay. So we're hopeful that we might have some good news to spread in the, in the very near future. Let's hope so. Fingers crossed. Yes, please. Thanks again for everything you guys Thank do. Thank you. All right. Tina, appreciate you, it. Hey.